All right, so going live, going live, going live. My name is Kamiya Simon Peter. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for the support. Um, Kamiya Simon, I'm from Pogicode. Now, people are asking, what is going live? That is the first question. Two, why do we go live? All right, now, um, please do not forget to subscribe. Uh, do not forget to share or even like these videos and also comment. Now, going live, I explained it in the among the last videos, but I think I have to explain it in the first two videos. Uh, so the first video I've made video A, which is uh, the use case, the general logical use case, and then video B is going live. All right, so to go live, after creating your application, you've done the sandbox testing and you your application is communicating all sides. This is what you need to do. You need to go live. So going live is what we're going to do today. And then first I need to sign in. All right, I need to sign in. I'm signing into the developer portal. So I need to sign in. And then the moment you sign in, you can see something is going to come up here. This is the item going live. All right, so the moment you're done with your application and you feel you've tested everything, now the user, the, 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 the primary key and secondary key, or all the things you've been using for the sandbox testing may be regarded irrelevant. MTN needs to give you the new items that are going to be live on the MTN server, I, I think. So what do they do? You need to submit to them that, hey, I need to go live. So you sign in and you come and choose to go live. And then when you choose to go live, this is now the go live side. You are submitting certain things. So first of all, uh, you choose which country you belong to. So today it is, uh, so before it was only Uganda, but now I can say there is Ivory Coast. Next will be Cameroon, Nigeria, and then others, Rwanda, uh, those other items that come in Guinea in Africa. So each country may have its own requests. Therefore, I'm going to choose Uganda because I'm in Uganda. And then you choose what package have you been working on, All right. So this was now, uh, do you use, um, do you have a premium package? So if you, uh, this was, the, the standard package I think was free, you, you, you're pricing nothing, okay? You're just testing, but then if you're going to, uh, if right now I think this is relevant, unless there, there is another challenge, but the premium package is for those people who have registered companies and businesses and you're going to collect money from the item okay so this is premium all right so this is what you need to do after selecting let's have selected premium all right it will enable this then you choose which products are you going to use so you can tick maybe disbursement or and and collections or collection widget and widget and remittance then after you press next so then you you fill in okay the full name about the business owner the full name and then your national id you enter your your uh, credentials of the the id or the passport and then the email address and then your phone number all right then about the business what is the business name okay uh, that that you are submitting what i'm not sure of i may have a company but the company has a product okay i, I i'm not sure about that i'll ask about it and then but what is the business name and then select the business uh, and then the company maybe has a product and do i have to submit the product much as the company is, is different and then select the business type so you select which business type is it a limited company in uganda is it limited by you know is it a circle is it a partnership is it are you a sole proprietor of that business is it a non-government organization you select that then after you describe your business okay what does the business do then after you come to kyc know your customer contracting and file management so you download these are the requirements for the kyc you down you click download and then view then you'll see what is required in the kyc okay let me download the form and then after 
okay I guess it is downloading and then after you upload the signed KYC form okay and then you choose to submit okay so you verify that you are submitting these items that are in the KYC All right so I think there's some after submitting I think there's something I'm missing after submitting you have this now therefore okay these are the errors sorry there is somewhere where they are telling you what type of KYC documents let me hope I didn't miss that or else let me let me open this and we see what kind of KYC documents they require from us okay so here is uh, so you need to have a mandate form this the, so you you get that package and then you go through these are the applications you need okay for the KYC you know these are the items that you need to fill and then you'll be uploading them okay you'll be uploading them you've up you uploading the signed forms and then uh, somewhere I think I miss I miss something let me just go back I miss something I think and that something was which KYC documents do they need let me first choose standard and standard and I see all right you've uploaded the forms oh so I've not filled in the national numbers and what and then I've not chosen the, uh, the business type all right so yeah, okay this is what I was looking for I, I, I needed to choose the business type so you need to upload the mandatory documents related to your business type for example uh, the certificate okay of registration for us in Uganda uh, you need to have documents uh, of law so registered and certified by the Constitution or registered and certified by the laws so this must uh, all the documents can be registered by URSB then you upload and then identify the documents of the primary or related parties or the signatories okay you upload and then the tax identification number of the company you upload and then uh, resolution of appointment this is for the management you also upload and then indicating the period in office so the registration shall be by URSB and registering body you upload then proof of address of the business hmm? Hmm? proof of address of the business then entity and of the following you upload anyway you go through them and then you upload and then you submit so I've submitted without this that's why I was receiving the warning and then you will wait for them to get back to you through the email address that you provided here or they give you a call all right so I think I've explained how to go live please do not forget to share subscribe like um, I've gone I've had a unique number of views and then I thank you for that I so thank you for subscribing I need to get statistics up and running those statistics you must be able to watch so um, I must have uh, is it 1,000 subscribers and 40,000 watch time hours therefore if you watch for the 20 minutes fully you've given me 20 minutes of watch time all right so thank you for that uh,